OK, variants of discrete random variables. So we write it like this, var x, and that's the same as sigma squared, which you've seen before when we were talking about um, variance and standard deviation. So standard deviation is sigma, variance is sigma squared. Now this is the formula for it officially. You do x minus the mean, so the difference between your x value and the mean, you square it so that you can get rid of any negatives, you times it by the probability, and you add them all up. However, we don't really use it in that form. As we saw when we did variance before on um, other things, when we were looking at frequency tables and things, there's easier ways to do it. So we have this equivalent formula. So that's the sum of x squared times p, p's being the probability, take away e of x squared. And what I'll be using most often is this form. So that sum of x squared times p, that's the same as if you did the expected value of x squared. So for e of x you do x times p, so for e of x squared you do x squared times p. Now remember that's um, similar to what we looked at with frequency tables, it looks like it's the same kind of thing as this formula here where we did the sum of x squared over n minus um, x bar squared. It's the same type of thing, we're just applying it to discrete random variables. So it's easiest to see how to use this with an example. So here's our um, table of a probability distribution. We want to find e of x and the variance of x. So e of x you've seen how to do before. So that's each of our x values times the probability, then added up. The variance of x is e of x squared minus e of x all squared. So e of x squared, we do that in the same way as e of x, but each of those x values gets squared, then times by the probability. Then our variance will be that number, the 1.4 from e of x squared, take away the number that we get from e of x squared. OK, second example. We've got this probability distribution table and we're asked to find a, mu and sigma. So first off, a, nice and easy, all of those probabilities have to add up to 1, so a has to be 0 0.2. Mu is the same as e of x, so that's each of our x values times by their probability and added together. And sigma is the square root of the variance. Remember the variance was sigma squared, so sigma is the square root of the variance. And the variance we know is e of x squared minus e of x all squared. So e of x squared, let's take that line from e of x and just copy it down, but we're going to square each of the x terms. So the variance is that 9.6 minus mu, the e of x above, squared, to give us 1.76. Therefore, sigma has to be the square root of 1.76, and that gives us 1.33.